Jeez, that is ruining isn't it? Unbelievable. From sunshine to rain. Morning! It did not half rain last night. Um, it was like thunderstorms shaking the house. Uh, yeah, it was, it was really, really coming down at some points. So, all here's done, which is good. That's ticked off. Um, it's just me and Andy in this morning, so I think my dad's gone to possibly get some cattle. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a bit of a busy morning feeding the cattle for us, so check it out. These two will have had their first wet night for a bit. Oh yeah. You are, you're a bit highly strung you aren't you? You are friendly but you're a bit highly strung. Andy's busy with the straw blower. And I'll be jumping on the TM and we'll get feeding round. Not sure if we've got Big Mick today because I saw her on Facebook him and the wife had gone out to the pub so um, yeah I reckon he might have had some uh, some beers last night so he might not be here unfortunately but I'll ring him later to find out yeah all the yards looking wet but they'll all be dry in the pens right I'm gonna let Andy in the big shed now I do get plenty of straw blown in here so it has been wet Andy's done in there but I think he's struggling to get out do this way <laughs> I guess I'll put it down to these slippy surfaces. And Andy backs onto the bales like that. Which swallows it up into the machine. Then we'll cut the bands and we'll be away. So Andy's just putting some straw in, so I just thought I'd show you our MX bucket. Just starting to take the paint off now. That's the door opening there, massive, large door opening so we can get plenty of meal out. Got a bit wet out here so Andy will put plenty of straw down. We'll see that in a second. There we go look. A bit more to put out at the front I think. Anyway back to the bucket. We can put two wheels. We've got two wheels from our old bucket onto here and then it agitates it more to push it out but at the minute touch wood we've not been doing too bad with it. Well, I just fetched this one out because you're panting a little bit in the bed. And he looks happy as Larry scratching his face now, so maybe, uh, maybe he is all right, but I'll leave him out for now. Right, while Andy's doing the last of the strawing, we'll fetch some slightly drown with the uh, nine meter. It's got the spikes on. So we'll go around the straw stacks and we'll get some of this black silage down here. But it's more like haylage really. I think we need three of these bales today. So I've just stacked one on top of the other. And then we will hopefully we'll fetch three round like that. Yeah, that'll stop them. Right, I'm gonna try and get a mix done. So we're ready this afternoon. We've just run out of feed. Well, not run out of feed for this morning, but for this afternoon we have. We'll try and get that sorted. I think we're going to put it under cover though, so I can just hear Andy with the reversing beeper. He's moving some stuff out of the way. Yeah, so Andy's just cleaning up in there. We've got a trough to move. So we can tip the meal under cover because last night this stuff got wet, so we don't want that. It shortens the lifespan of the, the meal, takes the energy and washes the goodness out of it. So, possible thunderstorms later, let's get this stuff under cover. Set some bales out ready for tomorrow. So Andy's just getting the silage grab on. Just to do a pre-mix. Andy's going for some Trafford now. Trafford Gold. Byproduct from I think is it wheat, where they take alcohol out of wheat. Something like that. 
Anyway, cows are the only ones that can eat it. And turn it into something that's not waste. Turn it into feed. For us as humans. A nice burger or a juicy steak. Or a roasted joint. Or a brisket. Or Raisin steak. Raisin steak's nice, ain't it? That's for ages. Anyway. Right, Andy's off now. Um, just me left. We'll finish this mix off. And then see what's to do after that. Well, hopefully the rain has stopped. We're going to get the drone up and um, just have a look at a few things around the farm. Sitting on the gate. <laughs> oh, they're all there. And the wasps are flying around our apples. They're quite nice, these. See if they mm, don't think they're quite ready. Oh no, maybe they are. Yeah, they are. Looks like someone's been in them. See if my mate likes it. It's there, if you want it. You're not bothered, are you? Do you want a full apple then? No? Okay. So, they look like that. And then you shine them up. Look at that. Hey, eh? what an apple. Good as well. Very good. I don't know what apples they are. If anybody knows. But they are really nice. Like, I like pink ladies and stuff like that. And that's better. Fresh off the tree. Yeah. It's a really nice apple. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say much more about it. It's a really nice apple. So I'm just taking the ladders back. So I've been trying to do the gutters on the house. And then I'm going to get off in the lorry and do some cattling. So these guys are loaded up. It's just started raining. Um, but we'll get on. It's nice that the rain's coming to cool everything down. So I'm just stopping off at Ripon Farm Services, see what they've got in the yard. So I have a Oh, wow, yes, look at this. Beast. 7 out of 350, Gen 2. That is nice. It's got some serious weights on back, hasn't it? 900 kilo. At each side. And a big set of discs. 
Yeah, I don't think the camera's going to do justice as to how big this disc set is. Um, discs, legs, discs, massive packer at the back. What's it going to be this? Is it six metres or...? I'm not quite sure. It's an animal though. That is an animal. That's a mini animal. A real mini Kramer, isn't it? That that'd get anywhere. Get in anywhere. Get around anywhere. A few other bits got a hedge cutter. I don't know if that's for sale. Probably. Some discs again. Oh, we saw them last time, I think, didn't we? Some nice legs on that one. Different packer. You know, different options. And then, yeah, some power arrows to put together by the looks of it. So we'll just have a look around the front here. That looks nice, that 155. Oh, the big black Kramer that was in last time. 6R155. The 9 meter's still here, look, the Kramer. Hmm. Maybe we ought to try that again. Let's see if I've got some aircon. A nice 7260R. I thought all the 7 series ones were like 300 horsepower plus, but is that like the bottom of the range of 260? I don't know. Somebody will let me know. But yeah, that is one hell of a machine, is that? Beauty. LED lights. That's even got like a daytime running light looking thing up there. Yeah, very nice. Somebody's gonna be lucky. And Pete's still here on a Sunday, so if um, you need anything, literally seven days a week this place, Pete will be in here and he'll be able to look after you. Um, right, we better get back off to the farm and shut everything up, I think. Fingers crossed, my dad should have fed up, hopefully. In the yard now, we'll get this parked up. So today's mix mention is going to be on the lorry here. Um, it's a happy birthday to Rosie Morden, who's 32, so happy birthday, Rosie. And also, happy anniversary to the two people in Hawaii at the moment, um, Rob and Kate Duffy. So I um, hope they're having a great time over there. Um, I know they sent some pictures, and it looks fantastic. Um, so yeah, anybody else wants to get their name in the video, there's a link in the description below. We just get a little donation to um, the air ambulance. I think we've raised over six and a half thousand pounds now. So fantastic work, everyone that's donated. Um, and yeah, it's just, yeah, like I said, link in the description below. Looks like the feeding's all been done, which is great. They're all eating the silage down there. We've got a little pied wagtail. Having a little uh, feed as well in the trough by the looks of it. And that's about it from me today too. So um, thanks everyone for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, Please remember to press the like button and um, subscribe if you're not already if you've been watching a few and you've not subscribed it's free to do it and it'll just notify you when i put a video up so you'll be able to look at it and think i don't want to watch joe today but or you might want to watch it i don't know whatever but it's there in it just press subscribe it's free get it done business see you later bye